Hello all of you beautiful people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com, and you know what, as with any real life weapon, the pokers, slashers and unholy prodders that you can find in video games should always be handled with care, as while you might be carrying enough firepower to turn a mountain into Swiss cheese, you might want to make sure that you're not accidentally in the blast radius. But you know what, that doesn't stop the weapon in question from being truly and utterly awesome. So let's take a look at them as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 8 amazing video game weapons that killed you. Number 8. Soul Edge – Soul Calibur Franchise Ah, the Soul Edge, weapon of legend, power and ultimate disaster for those that come against it. The tales of this mystical weapon stretch to the far corners of the world, drawing in those that would look to wield its mighty power as well as those looking to destroy it in equal measure. Plus, it kind of looks like a big angry middle finger that was crossed with William Birkin from Resident Evil, so that's always a plus. However, I do think that this almighty weapon should come with a user instruction manual, as I'm pretty sure that at some point every player who's picked up this over sized letter opener fell prey to one of its more nasty attributes. You see, even though this weapon provides enough offense to level a city block, it does come at the cost of a constant stamina drain, and in any fighting game, this is never a good thing. From dying to opponents exploiting the drain and hitting you for constant chip damage, to dodging back and letting you quite literally fall on your own sword, the Soul Edge really can be as big a nightmare as its previous wielder. Still, when it hits, ooh baby does it clatter that brain matter out the other side of your opponent's head. Number 7. Experimental Merv Fallout 3 now, when you mention the words mobile nuclear missile launcher and deals the most damage in the entire game, then you're going to make a lot of Fallout players quite hot under their vault suit collars, as in a world looking to kill you at every turn, having the most overpowered and irradiated weapon in your hands is always a good thing, right? Well, the experimental merv answers that question with sometimes, maybe, depending on what I feel like doing. Confused? Well, you certainly will be when you use this weapon, because more often than not, it will reduce you to a little pile of goo alongside your enemies. You see, while the MERV does fire out mini nukes in a spread shot manner similar to a shotgun and does a sickening amount of damage, that spread is randomly determined by a ton of behind the curtain rolls. As such, it's very, very possible for one of the eight mini nukes fired out with each shot to have a bonkers trajectory and land just a few feet in front of you, meaning that you'll in turn see your own feet fly back at you as you're turned into to body jam. Still, it's a very cool weapon. Number 6. The Rotten Egg Resident Evil 5 I think it's fair to say that when it comes to stressful situations, the scenario that Chris Redfield and Sheva find themselves in during Resident Evil 5 is pretty much at the top of the pile. Not only are there infected villagers looking to crack you open like a fleshy piñata, bioweapons the size of houses erupting from the blue everywhere you look, but you've also got to deal with the bloody partner AI hoovering up all your ammunition and healing items before looking at you like you've asked them the square root of something when you ask for a bandage to stop you from bleeding out. Anyway, I digress, it's a stressful time for sure is what I'm trying to say. But that being said, the game does offer up one awesome moment of hilarity in the form of the almighty Rotten Egg, an item that you can find randomly in the game world from time to time. Now what makes this Yolk weapon so brilliant is that if you manage to hit an enemy with it, it's a one hit kill, meaning that if you're willing to chance your arm, you've effectively got a get out of jail free card at your disposal. However, be warned, this Ovum of Doom is a bit of a double-egged sword, as if you happen to press the wrong button, you'll end up eating the rotter and downing yourself in the process. Oh well, hopefully AI Sheva will help me out. No, no, she's just content doing her own thing, it seems. <sighs> Number 5. The Ula Pool Kaber Team Fortress 2. In a game as chaotic as Team Fortress 2, the sound of gunfire, explosions and screaming could basically be sold to fans of the title as relaxing white noise, as there's really not a moment of true silence on offer here. And thanks to an incredible array of weaponry at your disposal, there's always a new threat to look out for. From rocket jumping soldiers looking to clatter you with trench shovels to snipers throwing their own piss at you, the over-the-top violence takes many wacky forms. And speaking of whacking, the Ula Pool Kaber for the Demo Man is truly an almighty one, seeing as this melee weapon is actually just a live stick grenade. However, instead of throwing said explosives, the Demo Man will look to batter his opponents more than Scottish cuisine, and with its insane damage output might well just do so in one hit. However, there is one slight drawback here, and that is, of course, the fact that you're hitting an opponent with a live grenade on a stick. 
and it's going to catch you in its blast radius when it pops. Therefore, the Ula Pool might end up dragging both you and your opponent into the great beyond and leaving nothing but meaty chunks behind for your team to clear up. Number 4. The Voodoo Doll – Blood when it comes to the video game Blood, it sure does spill a hell of a lot of it with its ridiculous weapons list. From jackhammer shotguns with enough recoil to push you back through a wall, to a Vulcan minigun that chews through ammo at a frightening rate, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the forces of the dead and laugh as you mow down enemies in short order. That being said, if you really do want to stick the needle into your enemies, then why not do literally that with the voodoo doll that you can find in the game? The gimmick here is that instead of aiming and unleashing your own personal version of hell, you can simply send enemies right to its gates by jabbing the doll in front of you. Thanks to its unlimited range and lack of aiming requirements, the voodoo doll is supremely powerful in the right hands. However, you better watch your own pinkies because if there are no enemies on screen and you press the attack button, you'll miss and end up doing catastrophic damage to yourself. Therefore, it's quite possible in the hectic battles that emerge in the late game to feel like a right prick as you jab a needle into your own hand and go down like a sack of spuds. Number 3. Devil Weapons – The Fire Emblem Franchise so we all know the expression, don't deal with the devil, right? A backhanded warning and condemnation of those that associate with less than reputable people. And this is a mantra that should always be kept in mind when playing through the Fire Emblem titles, as the devil weapons that you find here are no joke, but at the same time might end up having a laugh at your expense. This is because while the stat lines for the devil axe and sword, plus the numerous cursed weapons that you can find in the franchise all rock insane damage output, each comes with a pretty hefty cost. But you see, whenever you attack with these weapons, the game performs a skill check, and depending on your luck skill, you have around a 20-30% to 30 chance of the attack not just missing, but hitting you. And we're not talking about a weak slap to remind you who's the boss, we're talking about a full or even critical hit that may well one-shot your own party member. It's a gamble and a half, as while it's always nice to pie off an enemy, it's much less so when you've ended up slicing your own face off. Number 2. The Kill Star Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon Okay, so who was the genius that decided to exploit my love of death lasers and the almighty so bad it's brilliant movie Krull in the form of Far Cry 3's amazing Blood Dragon expansion? Was it you, Jeff? No? Well, it's got your fingerprints all over this bad boy. In an experience as over the top and utterly insane as Blood Dragon, you're going to need to do something pretty special in order to stand out as a weapon. And the Kill Star, well, it's very special indeed, as not only does it look absolutely amazing as it spins around like a Beyblade of Doom, but when it comes to letting it rip, it shoots off a death laser which will punch a hole through even the toughest defenses. However, there is one slight drawback here, and that's that the ammunition for the Kill Star is your own life essence, making for a horrible situation where you have to choose whether to fire this awesome arm-mounted mad lad or, you know, stay alive. It's like Sophie's choice. I can't decide when the weapon is this cool. And number one, the boomerang. Don't Starve. So Don't Starve, as the name might suggest, isn't exactly a title that is a nice frolic over a field 90% of the time. With almost perpetual darkness coating the title, a gloomy atmosphere, and of course, the myriad of monsters that view your stomach as an all-you-can-eat buffet, death and despair are pretty much par for the course. However, just because you're literally fighting for your life at every turn doesn't mean the game keeps you perpetually underpowered when it comes to weapons. The Glass Cutter, the Morning Star, the almighty Ham bat. All of these and more can be yours, and each does a mighty job of making your odds of surviving another night that much greater. However, something even cooler than a literal slab of meat being your weapon, Don't Starve also gives you access to the brilliant Boomerang. This ranged weapon can clobber enemies from a distance and has the lovely added bonus of coming back to you to use again and again. Well, that is if you remember to catch it, that is. For you see, if you don't press the action button as it comes back around, it'll clonk you in the head, causing a fair amount of damage, thereby making for a very cool weapon that is possibly the last thing that you'll see as it sends you six feet down under. Crikey. And there we go, my friends. Those were eight amazing video game weapons that killed you. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. That's where I do all of my board game stuff, my streaming, my Warhammer Battle Reports, and things like that. So it'd be great to see you over there. But before I go, my friend, I want to talk about one thing, one awesome weapon that we all have in our possession, and that is our minds. Do not use the weapon to turn against yourself, my friend. Use it to better yourself, to 
take on the world and come out on top because you deserve all of the best things in life like love, happiness and success and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise, all right? Big love to you, my friend. Now go out there and smash it. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.